Well, that's it. You'll be glad to know that this is the last one. Now, this is back in war. Uh, that was a long time ago for someone. Oh, not you, Mrs. You were there, weren't you? Um, there was uh, lots of problems, and, and we tended to sort them out and not go on strike like this lot these days. Right, this is called My Pachyderm is Stuck. It goes a little like this. <laughs> Problems come in sizes depending on your look. Well, I'm not about to either or even pass the book. Yes, life is full of problems and I'm sure you've had a few. Well, none as big as this one. <laughs> what am I to do? Well, walking in the high street just the other day, I saw a man and an elephant, they were blocking my pathway. Well, man was pushing elephant, Ellie pushing back. No movement made by either, no progress, there's a lack. I say, I say, he said, my pachyderm is stuck. Get behind and give a shove and watch out for the muck. Oh, so I joined the keeper and I gave a mighty heave. The elephant moved backwards without a buy a leave. So I thought long and weary uh, to the keeper said, What do you think would happen if we pulled it by its head? So my pachyderm is stuck, my pachyderm is stuck. Get behind and give a shove and watch out for the muck. My pachyderm is stuck, my pachyderm is stuck. Get behind and give a shove and watch out for the muck. We can join in if you want to. Well, so that's how we did it, and you can do it too. If your problem backwards goes forward to the zoo, my pachyderm is stuck, my pachyderm is stuck. You don't need a Derek or a ten wheel truck. My pachyderm is stuck, my pachyderm is stuck. You don't need a Derek or a ten ton truck. I say, I say, he said, my pachyderm is stuck. Get behind and give a shove and watch out for the muck. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless.